What's up everyone? So today I have three ways to levitate a card. Let's get started. Alright, this one's an easy one. All you need is two cards, some tape, some scissors, and some pocket display clear plastic, okay? And all it is, is it's just a rig taped between the two cards. Okay, so it's like a Z form. Alright? And it gives the illusion of the one card floating. So all I did for the performance was I lifted it with my two hands Okay, then took one off, acting like it's still stuck to this finger. Then you hold it right there, and then slide that one off, and it's floating. You want to make sure that you are doing the right angle, okay? Because this angle really matters. Even though it's clear, the plastic is clear, you still can see it a little bit. So, what I did, I did lower down and on an angle. You can still see that it's floating, okay? But if you're straight like this, everyone would see it. But if you're just on a little angle like that, and everyone was in front of you, you could see that it looks like it's floating. And to bring it back down, just clap it together, and put it in your pocket. Alright, so here's the back view for that gimmick. Okay, so like I said, it's just a Z pattern in the plastic. Very small plastic, taped about a quarter of the way, and taped to the other half, okay? And again, all you're doing is just lifting it up and having it float. Alright, so this one's pretty cool too. All you need is some invisible thread or fishing line, a card, some tape, and a straw. Okay? Now, all it is is just another little gimmick. Okay? You have the straw taped to the back top of the card. Okay? And then you have the invisible thread or fishing line threaded through it, okay? And then you have loops of the ends of the invisible thread that go around your fingers on each side. Alright? So you have this kind of illusion like that. Alright? And all you're doing is just showing off the card and just letting go of it, making sure that one hand is lower than the other so it can float. I do not recommend using tape, okay, if you can tie them, that would be the best, because I don't know if you saw in the video, but you did see the tape, and it looks pretty messy, but that's all you're doing, alright, and I will show a back view. And here's the back view for this trick, okay, so there's the straw, and the loop, can't really see it much, but it is there, and those go on both of your fingers. One on the right and one on the left. And you just let it slide back and forth on the invisible thread. Alright, so this is the easiest of the tricks. No gimmicks required. All you need is just a pack of cards and some cards, okay? You can show off the cards, showing that it is real. And this trick is just meant to show that you have static on you. Alright, so all you're doing is just holding the cards in your hand like this, okay? And then acting like you're getting static, placing your finger on there, and lifting it, and then dropping it after. Alright, so all you're doing is just, when it's like this, you can get static from each side, tap it a few times, having the box lifted off your hand, and then you're going to stick your pinky in on the last one to lift it, okay? Just for a little bit, and then when it drops, pull your pinky back and act like you made your whole card box float. Also, here's just a really quick view of the back of the last trick. Alright, so it's in your hand. One, two, three, put it under, okay, and drop it. Alright guys, that wraps it up for the three ways to levitate a card. If you like this video, 
please subscribe to my channel, okay? Please get the word out that my channel is growing. I am the only, not the only magician still revealing tricks, but there are a lot of magicians that have left YouTube and do not make videos anymore. So I'm still creating for you guys, so please subscribe, share my channel, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and yes, I will see you guys next time.